It may be the chilly North Atlantic, but scientists on board this boat are on their way to investigate hot spots. They now exist around the Greenland coast and mean that glaciers there are thinning at a dangerous rate, up to a metre and a half a year. The consequences for sea levels are obvious and in turn the threat to the world's population. Greenland's ice sheet has more than doubled its contribution to sea level increases in the last seven years due to rapid and unpredicted loss of ice. The environmental group Greenpeace took independent scientists on a three-month expedition to try to find the reason why. Probes were sent down deep into the Atlantic and the answer that they brought back was both surprising and alarming. What we found is that there are large volumes of uh, warm subtropical waters that are reaching these fjords and are flowing through these fjords very quickly so they can transport heat and, and drive melting at the end of the glacier. And so in Sermelik Fjord, where Helmheim Glacier discharges, this is one of the largest glaciers in Greenland, uh, we found temperatures above three degrees right up next to the glacier edge. Back on land, other scientists set up monitoring equipment to try to measure the speed of the glacier's movement towards the sea. One is travelling at an incredible 38 metres every day. What we have here is approximately seven metres of sea level equivalent held in frozen form and stored on the continental ma landmass of Greenland. And when that uh, mass is transported through glaciers like Kangalusweck Glacier here, like we see here, and uh, dumped into the uh, fjord as icebergs, they displace seawater, so they uh, essentially cause a uh, rise in sea level. And if the uh, rate at which these icebergs are added to the, to the ocean uh, speeds up, then the rate of sea level rise will speed up. And that's exactly what we've seen here at Kangalusweck Glacier. Uh, since uh, 2004, it's tripled its speed. The scientists' findings are in step with those of other organizations. And campaigners say that the climate negotiations in Copenhagen this December must commit to drastic reductions in greenhouse gas emissions up to 40% by 2020. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera.